næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. My video today is about this picture. It has been hanging on my walls in different flats since around 1967, when I had a supplementary job teaching in a school for social workers in Copenhagen, not in social work, but in administration and organization theory, which was becoming my specialty in these years. Suddenly, one day this and a few other paintings were hanging on the walls of the school for social workers. They were for sale at a very reasonable price, so I bought this painting. Signs on the painting said that they were all made by patients at a mental asylum who were offering teaching or activity in painting as a hobby and or part of the therapy. I have always understood the painting as telling in a very clear form how the world is seen from the perspective of a mentally ill person, a woman. For me, it has thus become the picture of mental illness. In the middle of the picture, there is a face. When you get closer, you can see that it is clipped from a magazine showing a beautiful young and somewhat scared girl looking out at the world and being a little afraid of it. Are we not all doing that? I am at least afraid that we might not be able to handle what life offers us. But the other part of the painting, the dominant part, is about a clown with a clown's mask to the left of the scared face with big red hair which like a mane is overflowing the scared girl. And the girl has a clown's dress on with a big green butterfly. One can say that the picture shows the duality, for some, of being mentally ill. The illness can bring conflicting emotions and perceptions to the, for me, unknown painter, except for a signature JR, down in the right corner, barely visible for you, my viewer. I further understand the painting in this way. The scared girl is the real person she feels she is. It is her backstage. To use the expression of the famous American psychologist, Erwin Goffman, 1922 to 1988. The clown is somewhat outside her, an armory she puts on to protect her scary self. That is her front stage. That which she shows the world. In the front stage, she is making loud jokes in order to hide herself. Other people are using other strategies to protect their backstage. Some project an image of themselves as strong. Others again as very wise and studied, it could be me, perhaps, in order to protect their fragile self. I don't know if the unknown painter was or later became well known. To me, it is an interesting painting, but also a painting of big artistic quality. I have searched a little on the internet, and it is easy to find paintings of artistic quality made by recognized artists as this one by Megan Curtis Jamie Hayon from Valencia, Spain. Thank you for being able to use his painting as an illustration. Could my unknown painter be or have become a recognized artist? She deserves it. Thank you for watching my video about the, as I see it, interesting painting. How do you like the painting? Do you feel that the painting portrays well mental illness or some forms of mental illness? The comments section is open.